Okay guys, this video is gonna be about removing the background. This is probably something that you're gonna do a lot of depending on what kind of pictures you're downloading and images that you're working with. There's a few different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you kind of the, the easy way which is to use the magic wand. And we did this earlier in a, a previous video. You see you can select this and you can select all of the white. Works great when there's a nice clean line. And we just press delete and it's gonna delete all of it. Now you gotta pay attention to the details. You can see there's some white here that we would also want to delete to uh, get a nice, clear, uh, transparent background for this image. So let's back it up a little bit. I want to show you another trick. And if you come over here and double click on this layer, you're gonna get a lot of layer, they call it layer style. It has a lot of different options. And I want to move this over here so you can see what happens. Um, and I, I don't know why this works, but I found this in a YouTube video. If I take this and slide it over, this is like the entire gradient from black to white. And I just move it down one, so I'm at 254. You see it gets rid of all the pure white. Here, watch that. All the pure white is gone, just with one little move. But you see there was pure white in other parts of the image, so it took out all of these bright lights that were up here. They were the exact same 255 white. So this isn't, uh, this doesn't work every time. And the magic wand doesn't work every time. Uh, now there are probably a lot of uh, how-to videos on YouTube of how to remove the background. So you may wanna watch some of them as well. I'll we'll show you a few other examples of how this works. Uh, now again, we don't wanna work on the, uh, the background. So I'm gonna make a uh, background copy and we're gonna edit this. And I wanna, I want you guys to see how it affects this one to remove the white because at first, it starts to look pretty good, and you may even want to use an image like this with the uh, little bit of a shadow. And as I go farther, I can get rid of more and more uh, white down to gray. But you see, as I go too far, it starts cutting into the actual image of the phone, where the phone has uh, a very light color. Uh, so what I would do with this one is take away as much as I could and say, okay, now I would use the magic wand from here and delete and delete layer after layer uh, until I'm down as small as I'm as I'm happy with depending on what you're gonna put this on you may want a little bit of a shadow uh, so it, it depends what you want to do so again now I'm using both of them together to kind of get the uh, the desired effect that I want and I want to show you one more. This is uh, some kale that I got off of a Dollar Photo Club. Let's uh, make a copy to edit. And this one works great. If I just take it down to 254, you see with one click, now I've got a nice uh, no white background. And uh, it's gonna be really easy to work with this image. So as you're removing backgrounds, uh, those are the two tricks that I use. If I had a, a tough image I really couldn't figure out, um, I might hop on uh, on YouTube and look for some additional uh, videos for removing the background. There are also remove the background services out there that will do it for you. Very inexpensive, very quick turnaround. So please don't struggle with that. Uh, if you can do it yourself, great. If not, uh, move forward and get someone to help you get past that and don't spend too much time on a, a task such as removing the background.